Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trisha Lachey. If you don't know already, coming to you live. Well, it's not really gonna be live, but whatever. I have decided that I just feel like putting some press on nails on. I have a whole container of press on nails that like need to be put to use. So I decided why not just hop on here and do a little review for you guys since you guys love my static nail review. So I have some options, okay? I have the ones that I've really, really been wanting to wear. This is like a plain color, like a dark, plum like color this is from the brand kiss and the nails are short now I do like to wear short nails on a regular basis but when it comes to like occasions or if I'm traveling I like to you know just just you know make it a little bit longer you know I got the little kick kick you know I can look just, you know what I'm saying and then we have this set from modern French I kind of like recently did something similar so I think I might hold off on that one Here's this other color from Kiss. This is like a nice lavender color. This other one from Kiss, which is a different take on a French Manny. So I might go with this, especially because it's medium size, it's not long. And then I have this other set from Modern French, which is like this nice French manicure. It seems like I have a lot of French manicures, but in this lime color. I'm probably going to go with this one from Kiss because like I said, it's not long and I feel like I haven't done a style like this. I should have just put this on Instagram so you guys could vote. Oh, all right. It's too late. Now something about me. I love press on nails. I don't think I'm going back. I mean, they say never say never, but in the foreseeable future, I do not see myself getting professional acrylics done in the salon. I can have the cutest nail design, but after like two weeks, I do not want them on my nails anymore. I get tired of them. I get tired of the design. So press on nails are perfect for me because literally after like two weeks is, is when they all start falling off. Also, they allow me to switch up my style very often. They allow me to take a break from having acrylics and they're not damaging to my nails obviously depending on how you handle them it can really determine how healthy your nails end up so we're gonna get right into it but in case you guys are wondering where I got these nails from literally every time I go into a Dwayne Reed a CVS I am always going to the nail section I can go and pick up a broom but I will go to the nail section just to see what they have because different stores carry different things and once in a while they'll come out with like a really nice design that like you might not see again and so I just get what I can when I can stack up on it and then when I'm ready to use it boom I got options so with that being said guys let's get right into it Alrighty, everyone. So these are the materials that I'm starting off with. I have my pair of scissors here to cut off the top of the glue that I'm going to be using to attach my nails. I have obviously the pack of the nails right here. Then I have rubbing alcohol. I've started to use rubbing alcohol on my natural nails before adding the press on nails. And the reason why that is, is because alcohol gets rid of any oils or debris that may be on your natural nail that does not allow the acrylic nail to stick on the way that it should. And then I have my cotton pads here to apply the alcohol. And then I have some oil here that I can use at the very end. End, so I can get that like nice salon finish and just moisturize my hands because right now they dry honey they are dry so I am starting off with freshly washed nails okay so this does come with a nail file and that like stick that you can push your cuticles back with I am not going to use that because I don't need to file my nails down but if my nails did look jacked up I definitely would file them down and make them look all nice as a matter of fact though I might use it to like buff my nails because I heard that that actually helps as well with the longevity of the nails so I'll probably just do that and then here we have the actual nails and then the glue some companies do add the alcohol pad to their packs which is really helpful but it's not like a standard for all acrylic you know press on companies Alrighty, so my nails are nice and clean they're buffed they've been wiped with the alcohol now what I do is I 
go through all the nails and I determine which nails are best for each of my natural nails and then I put them to the side in a specific order so that when it comes to gluing I'm not like now just looking for the nails that fit I already have them in a row and then I can just glue stick Okay, so I have my 10 nails here that I've measured out and works best for my natural nails. And something I just wanna point out before I start gluing is that these nails are on the flimsier side, like they're more bendable. I have had Kiss nails that are more thick, so I know that this doesn't apply to all of their nails, but I've had enough experience with press-on nails to know that usually the thin ones don't last as long on me. So I wouldn't be surprised if this only lasts for about a week and a couple days versus like two weeks. I can definitely get their harder nails to stay on for a little bit longer, but just know that, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. These are probably around like $8 or so. So it's cheap, but there are definitely a lot of acrylic nail brands out there that sell hard, hard nails and they last a long time. But for now, let's get to gluing. So what I personally like to do is put glue on both my natural nail and the acrylic nail. I mostly put the glue in the middle of my natural nail. I don't like to go too hard. Like before I would add a lot of glue, but then things would get really messy in terms of the glue and it's spilling out at the sides. So at this point, I just kind of like chill out a little bit more, <laughs> but I definitely put enough so that it can last me for some time. And I hold my nail down for a long time. I'm talking like a minute per nail. Alrighty, so far one hand done nice and quick now something i want to throw in there is that anytime i do have any excess glue that comes out of the sides of the nails i just hold down my nail for probably about 10 seconds and then i try to wipe off the glue really quickly before you know it gets like attached there so yeah just a little tip All right guys, you ready for the final result? All righty peeps. So oh, nails are done, okay? They're looking salon professional. Okay, let me move my ring over, you know, give y'all a good shot. <laughs> I would say that took about 20 minutes, much quicker than when you go to a salon. This is what I love about press-on nails. I can do this in the comfort of my own home or the train or the bus or the car. Not on the airplane though. I tried to do that on the plane once and they said something I can't remember, but they said no. Oh, and one last thing. I recommend that when you do press on nails, you do not put your nails in water for like the next few hours. I know that's pretty difficult, but in my case, I either like usually do this right before bed or I do this when I know I'm not gonna be touching water anytime soon. Like for example, if I'm in a car, if you do have to use your hands for something, you can put on like some gloves. The reason why I do this is because I want 
to give the glue enough time to really set and again this helps with the longevity so you really can't lose a press on nails sometimes it takes time to find the techniques and you know find what works for you find what kind of nails that you like but once you find your groove baby you can't go back okay it's really hard to so i will be leaving updates in the comments down below be sure to check that out i'll be letting you guys know when they first pop off you know how they held up so if you guys want to know more about that definitely check the comments box i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead give me a thumbs up please do not forget to subscribe before you leave because i'm clocking you came through this whole video the least you can do is help your girl out all right join the family and while you're at it please go ahead and turn on that bell notification why because that means anytime i post you are gonna be notified it's been real god bless you make sure you comment down below do all that good stuff and i will check you guys next sunday deuces